Hey out there, Fender family. This is Nick Clark checking in from the Fender Artist Check-In. And, uh, you know, hope you guys are staying safe as you can and and trying to stay creative and trying to stay productive. I've been focusing a lot on uh, production and, you know, just tightening up on some things uh, programming-wise, messing around with Ableton. And I got a push here recently. Um, you know, so I've been trying to stay creative and having fun out here. Uh, today I got my fender ultra um back here just you know standard p with flat wounds is my fender um the elite uh base over there and i guess today i'll talk a little bit about uh an experience that i had you know they you know they always or they my mentors always told me to let the you know let the moment tell me what to play musically like know the music know the record know whatever you're playing but always let the moment dictate what to do using your ears, listening to what's going on around you tonally and and arrangement wise. Um, so like there was a moment uh, working with Kanye West and Sunday Service that uh, you know kind of the, that vibe there is flipping R and B songs and flipping Ye's old songs and you know it's super fun. We get to play a lot of cool music, a lot of cool arrangements. Uh, but there was one day they wanted to do the flip of a. Uh, S popular SWV song, uh, Rain. You just don't know what you do to me, uh, right? So, but this was in rehearsal. We didn't know beforehand. So the music director said, hey, y'all, we, we're flipping this song. And man, like 18-year-old Nick, um, you know, got wide-eyed, chomping at the bit, thinking like, yes, finally, a moment to play Portrait of Tracy by Jocko in front of, <laughs> in front of thousands of people. Like, you know, this thing that I had worked on for years and years and years, figuring out all these harmonics and such, right? Like, now I get to play it with Kanye and Sunday Service. Awesome. So in the moment, like, I was on my four string at the time, and, uh, you know, he started off the beat and was like, uh, you know, hey, so, you know, we want to do, like, the Jocko thing. Awesome. 18-year-old Nick, I know that. Psh, nothing. Counter the soft, and it sounded literally like this. I haven't played it since then, so probably how it's coming out now is how it came in during rehearsal with everybody. Uh, right? Just trash. Just <laughs> <laughs> just trash not the vibe not the tones like nothing right so i'm thinking like oh okay that's like not gonna work like at all with this situation like the the harmonics really don't support the choir at all um you know it was originally played rubato that's not gonna work we need something that's gonna keep time and you know supports everything going on vocally with the choir and still like holds up the structure of the song it uh you know pays homage to Jocko but also you know um uh is what's the word up uh, reminiscent of the SWV song right so i had to go home and work it out and uh this is what i came up with So, you know, that's what I came up with. Everybody was was happy with it, but it was just another, like, lesson of know the, you know, know the record, which I didn't know the record. But even if I had known the record, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> you know, so, know, you know, know the record, but always let the music of the moment, let the tones of what's happening, let, you know, let the vocals, let the other rhythm, rhythm section players, like, take all of that into account into what the musical choices that you make in the moment and, um, you know, be supportive, be interesting, be creative. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. 
Uh, Y'all have fun. Uh, Keep being creative. Uh, Stay sane out there. And uh, yeah, y'all have fun. All right now.